The needs for mother and children across Liberia are many. Malnutrition rates are high. Maternal and infant mortality are also high. We have a two-pronged strategy for helping to meet those needs. In the rural area, we're working on improving access to safe delivery rooms through rural health clinics. And then on the other hand, we're addressing the educational needs through a leader mother strategy. So we bring mothers from these rural communities together. We train them on good health practices for pregnant mothers, for new infants, uh, and then they take that message to their communities. This is my country. This is where I'm from. So I will now want to see our pregnant mothers die. I will now want to see our malnourished children. I want to see everybody healthy because the more healthy people become, the more good the community also become. A lot of people within the entire river G, they are hungry for this health information. If Samaritan Press had not come to carry on this maternal neonatal health program, there could be a lot of problems. I'm so excited because we are so happy for Samaritan Press to come to help us. But Samaritan Pro brought new zinc, they brought tar, they brought bear, they brought city, and now we are so excited. Even the patients that are coming here, they are so happy. <laughs> you can see the clinic is now a modern one. From the deplorable one, it become a modern one. I've been upgraded. Do you imagine patients will be on the bed? Liberia is one of the world's poorest countries and that has basically meant that uh, often families do not have the means to feed their children very well. Uh, so actually having people who go into the communities who actively look for children who are malnourished and spread a message saying that we have a project here which will help them and which will do it completely for free of charge and there's medicine available as soon as they arrive, that has had a huge impact. Samaritan's Press uh, doing so many things. I mean, there is everything from supporting the staff through training, supporting staff salaries, uh, buying a lot of the medications and supplies that we need. It's fair to say that without Samaritan's Purse, the program would be less than half the size of what it is now. So this is an opportunity uh, not just to kind of preach out people, but firstly show them that actually Jesus cares. It's the first time that most of these moms get the chance to actually see something of Christ. And we've got to make that count. We've got to make that contact count. And the medical practice there flows out of what Christ has done for us.